Hi everyone and welcome back and here we are we are looking into different ORM for the Node.js. So our primary category is next as a query builder, SQLize, type ORM and the Prisma. Prisma is something new and it is getting popular so we will talk about it. Right so Node.js application either you write with express typescript or simple express or using some framework like uh, Nest.js. You can use all these type of ORMs okay. So in this video we are just going to do a quick compare and we will also talk about do you really need a ORM or just a query builder or you may not need even a query builder if you are good at the writing the query interface for your database then it's good you can just go ahead with the with the simple MySQL 2 as a client library or a PZ for the Postgres and can do the query directly instead of using these type ORM, SQLize and Prisma, all these set of libraries. Okay, so what we are going to talk about is uh, there may be a different perception with the different people. Some says, okay, ORMs makes their task very easy. If they don't want to use ORM, at least they wanted to use a query builder. There are some people who will say, okay, we don't even want query builder. We will write our own interface. So there are different ORM available like loopback, SQLize, bookshelf, sales, waterline, mongoose, ORM2, and these four, which we are going to talk about. So uh, you can say that Node.js is full of libraries and everybody came and just, okay, introduced another ORM, right? Without even thinking about the common problem. SQLize has its own, it has its TypeScript problem, Type ORM is a TypeScript rich, Prisma is now coming up as a new Next as a query builder. And there are many others, right? <coughs> so the problem with the ORM is that they try to hide the business logic of interacting with your database. But at its core, an API is nothing more than an interface to the database. So you might have seen SQLize, Type ORM, they are providing their own interface to interact with the database. So what we can simply do is if you don't want to use a typical ORM, you can use a lightweight query builder next or maybe some other que uh, query builder which will help you just to orchestrate the query, nothing more than that, okay? So there may be a use case where you will say, okay, I don't want to be dependent on the ORM because I may have a complex join, I may need to write a complex queries and ORM may or may not need, satis uh, may not satisfy my needs. Okay, in that case, you go ahead with the queries. The only thing is sometimes the, the problem which comes is the managing the queries, right? Even sometimes you end up writing the small, small query builder in your code. So instead of doing that, you can just use a query builder library instead of doing that, right? So I, I have used Next and it's because it just doesn't what it says on the team, it builds SQL queries. But it also comes with some handy CLI tools for running the migration, seeders and your database interface, right? Because we can still write the queries, but migration, seeders, this is something which we need from each and every ORM and mostly like SQLize type ORM provides some migrations. That's cool, right? So instead of using the overall core, we can just write a MySQL queries and we can use SQLize type ORM just for writing the migration and seeders. So when we deploy new things, new columns, new tables, everything goes smooth in the production. Right, currently if you see the, the most popular one, which is I think SQLize is most popular and Next as a query builder is also. Type ORM is gaining popularity, Prisma is something new. So we can talk much about it, right? So what we are going to do here is, we will just talk about one by one. Let's say Next as a query builder, how to manage the database connection, so only the thing is, if you have used a type ORM and SQLize, they expose the repositories. So you inject them into your services, then you can just do a dot find, find all, find, find by ID and remove all these methods directly from the object representation of your table. There is nothing but a class, okay? There is a user entity, you will have a user class or user repository and user repository, you'll get the instance start doing the find, save, uh, insert, update, delete, all these operations, right? Same thing is we are going to use with the next, it just provide a database connection. Now how you create your services, how you create your database models, that is a little bit different than type ORM and SQLize because next is not an ORM, it's just a query builder for Postgres, MySQL and SQLite, right? And it's popular with the Postgres, so we will use that. 
and we will write express express with the type script with the next next years okay so what is our target we are going to build a simple shopping cart apis okay shopping cart api is like we have a users product cart uh, basic relationships and how to write the migration seeders how to write the apis that's our overall goal and we will see the same application how we build it with the type or and how we build that with the sqlize because the database is same we are we may use postgres or the mysql the same thing is uh, we are going to use with the type ORM. The only thing is in type ORM, we will be writing entity classes in TypeScript, similarly with the SQLize. And we will do the npm run db sync, npm run db migrate, and all these things to create the database table. Once we have the database table, it's all about our services, our controllers in the express to deal with the database. Okay, so this is the overall story for in i mean this playlist name is the orm world because we are talking about the multiple orms and you might use one of it to write your production application all are like production ready but it's just a relative comparison instead of talking in different playlists different orm i try to combine all these things so you can study together you can learn them because these are libraries you can just go through the documentation and start writing your application this playlist will help you to go through all the orms together okay uh, stay tuned guys uh, thanks for watching